Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I am so excited for this video because we're gonna be playing with a bunch of new single shadows from Touch of Glam. These are so beautiful, so stunning. I have been messing around with them off camera and I cannot wait to share them with you. And this video is sponsored by Touch of Glam, which I appreciate so much. Y'all know I love to talk about indie makeup and to be sponsored by a brand that I love it's always an honor to work together. So I will have their website linked down below. And if you're not familiar with Touch of Glam, they are a really cool indie brand. I feel like they're pretty well known right now for their holographic shadows. They're handmade in LA and everything is cruelty free. So I definitely recommend checking out all of their shadows. I will make sure to link down below other videos I have done in the past of Touch of Glam in case you wanna keep, you know, adding to your little shopping list, but today we're gonna to be playing with all of their new shadows. So let's jump on in. So starting off with the new holographic shadows, we have this shade, which is called That One Day. And off the bat, it just looks kind of like this blue silver shade, but it has the most beautiful holographic rainbow sparkle to it. So there is That One Day. So beautiful. I mean, look at that. Here's what it looks like in a little bit lower lighting. So you can really see those sparkles. It is just gorgeous. Definitely a good one for cool tone lovers. So this next shade is called What Do You Pink? And it's this beautiful mauve pink tone, but of course you can see all of those holographic sparkles. The texture is also so smooth. You know, I love a pink shadow moment. And then here's an up close so you can see the holographic sparkle a little bit better. You cannot tell me that's not one of the prettiest shadows you've ever seen. Next we have this shade called Soda Pop and it's also a hollow and it's beautiful because it's like this taupey platinum shade but then it has all the sparkles through it. So again, if you love cool tone shadows, this is so pretty. I definitely feel like this is one of those times where every shadow feels like it's my favorite. It's got this beautiful green flip to it as well. Oh my goodness. And then here's in that darker lighting, just so you can see all the sparkles. It's funny because with a shadow like this, going out of focus is actually helpful because sometimes it helps you see those sparkles a little bit more. Next, we have the shade You Had Me at Hollow, and this is so pretty. It's a multi-chrome with a red base and a gold shift to it, but then, of course, it also has all of the holographic going on as well. Just a super dimensional shadow. So pretty. I'm gonna show you guys with the mirror in a second just so you can see all of the shifts. It's extremely holographic. And then lastly, we have Breath of Fresh Hollow, which is a beautiful, like purple, like murky purple base with a green flip to it. Super silky to the touch. Green base on that one is so strong as well. And there's what it looks like up close. So there's all the holographic shadows together. As you can see, very pigmented, very shiny. Obviously, when you're looking at them even closer up, you can see the holographic better on camera, but in person, these look so beautiful. And then pulling in my little mirror here, just so you can see those shifts a little bit better. So pretty. Okay, so now we're gonna be jumping into some more traditional shadows that are newer from Touch of Glam. The first shade here is called My Life is a Screenshot, and this is a really beautiful 
just a white iridescent sparkly shade. It's a little bit more of like a flaky texture versus a silky shimmer, but it's really beautiful and it has a bit of purple iridescence throughout it as well. We've got the shade Gelato on my mind. This is a really beautiful soft gold with a little bit of a peachy base to it. Again, it's got a little bit more of a flaky texture to it. Next we have the shade O Biscuits, which is such a cute name. And this is a really beautiful soft purple with I would say like a kind of gold green shimmer shifting through it. And that one is a little bit more of a smooth metallic. Look how pretty those are. They just catch the light so nicely. Next we have a shade called the Gobbling Goblin, which is so funny. This is beautiful. It's like this taupey, platinum, grungy shade, but then you've got all this sparkle throughout it. It is beautiful. Like it's one of those shades where I feel like if you're a neutral lover or a color lover, you will still appreciate this. And it has a really smooth texture to it. Next we have the shade Soulmate. This is a more flaky one and it's an interesting shade because it has like this burnt orangey brown shade throughout it but then there's also purple and it's just very, very grungy. Next we have the Kush Era and I feel like you guys can see the green flip pretty well on camera. In person, it mostly looks purple but then if you turn it just right, you see the green. This has such a strong mauve base and a green flip to it. It's like almost like a cool toned version of that iconic brown to blue duochrome. I actually much prefer this. Hopefully you guys can see it's so sparkly. And this one is a little strange, like I said. So you have to bear with me here for a second. You kind of have to smooth it out a little bit, but then it is so beautiful. I feel like that swatch is not, not doing it justice. But then also at the same time, like you can see, you can really sheer it out. I feel like you could do such a stunning one shadow look with that. And then got this shade here. Beautiful. I feel like I need to pull out the mirror right now because I just need you to see how strong the purple flip is on that last shade. Next we have Don't Mess With Moi, which is a really pretty green base with a periwinkle flip to it. This one is a very smooth texture. We've got Roses Are Dead, which is a really beautiful metallic red, just a true red, super, super pretty, very silky to the touch. We've got Sweet Revenge, which this is a multi-chrome, I would say, because you've got this super strong, like purple plummy base, you've got green flips throughout it, and it's also super silky. I will definitely pull out the mirror for that one as well, just because I feel like you are gonna need to see the shift to really appreciate it as a shadow, because the purple to green is very strong. So pretty. And then last but not least, we have Shattered Souls, which is a really intense purple. I honestly thought this one was holographic because it looks like a holochrome, but it doesn't have hollow in the name like all the other holographic shadows do. But it is stunning. It's like this deep purple with rainbow sparkles through it. And then we've got How Very Dare You, which is a super sparkly green with like a teal base. So pretty. So silky. Look at that. There's the purple shade in low light so you can see what I'm talking about. I feel like this is a holographic shadow. And maybe it is. Maybe I just have it in the wrong section, but it is so pretty. So it's barely fitting on screen there, but that is all of the traditional shadows. 
So, so pretty. Let's jump on into the mattes. So we've got some really beautiful, fun, grungy matte shadows really into this. First one here is called Basic Gnome Behavior and, it, and it's like a mauve slightly purple tinted brown. We've got Journey of Blues, which is just a very bright cobalt blue. Super, super soft and beautiful to the touch. There is a little bit of kick up. I don't know if you can see that falling on my fingers. So I would definitely recommend being off your brush when you're using these mattes. We've got Freaky Subconscious. I think it's like an emerald green, but brighter. I can't decide exactly how to describe this, but super nice. Don't mind the fact that I have sparkles literally everywhere on my arm right now. <laughs> See, they're super smooth. We've got Spicy Dijon, which is literally the perfect name for this matte. It is such a beautiful, spicy mustard yellow. Definitely my kind of shade. And we've got Smoked Out, which I would say this is almost a black matte, but it's really just a dark, deep gray. So there you have it. That's all the matte shadows. All right, y'all, I kind of rearranged the shadows as I was putting them back into the palette, but that is everything I'm gonna be swatching today. I really hope that you enjoyed the video and thank you again to Touch of Glam for working with me on this one. I'll see y'all again soon. Bye.